Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dunkel. On this example, we're going to do a scatter plot. Now, scatter plot is good when you have a lot of information that you're entering in and you want to see um, like a trend line to see how things are going. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example of, for instance, if we're traveling in a car and you know, doing mileage over the times that we travel. So what I'm going to do is here in Excel, I'm going to enter hours. And let's do uh, one, two, three, four, five. And so what I'm going to track here is how far I've traveled in one hour, how far now am I at in two and three and four and five. And so this we will call miles driven. And let's say in that first hour we were in a city, and so we only got about 35 miles traveled. Uh, but then we got out of the city, so by the time we're done with our second hour, we're up to, let's say, 100 miles and then um, run into a little bit of traffic so we got an extra 50 miles in the third hour uh, now we're out on the open highway with no cops around and so now we're 250 and then we hit a cow and we don't go any farther so now that i have my data entered as far as um, how many miles i've driven so in five hours i've driven a total of 251 miles what I can do is highlight everything and it really doesn't matter if you highlight these uh, Excel tends to not actually put them in there so you can't just highlight your data and we're going to go to insert but this time instead of doing like a bar graph or pie chart we're going to come right here and this is called a scatter plot and so if I pull this down I'm just going to choose this very first one here and what you'll see is um, it's showing us here are our hours, here's our miles driven. So obviously we need to come in and add access titles. And we'll need to pop in there and label things properly. So miles driven. Down here we'll put hours. Need to give it a title. Let's just call this my vacation travel or something like that okay and you'll notice uh, we have a good little plot going on uh, but when we come over here we have something different that we typically don't see and what that is is called a trend line and so I can click on trend line and it'll show me kind of the the midpoint or average here of all these dots together. So when you're doing scatter plots that's going to be uh, important that you add a trend line. Now remember you could come in and add data labels that's kind of helpful um, and so that lets people know exactly that that's a 35 they don't have to count over and try to guess so uh, all the things we talked about prior apply here but that's basically all there is to it when you're making a scatter plot and obviously depending on what your information is may affect things the great thing with it though is if, if you realize oh I miscalculated something I need to come in here make that a 175 instead of 150 if you'll notice it changed it down here uh, for you so now it's plopped it there so it's a great thing with Excel so hopefully that gets you going on scatter plots as always if you have any questions just let us know thanks